Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique Chinese officer's sword, known as Zhao's sword. So the first thing we want to do is come to the Yangtze, which is actually a hidden submerged pre-war submarine, hiding away in the waters of Boston. Now on the Pip-Boy map, the Yangtze can be found in the middle of this bay here in downtown Boston. Now as soon as we come here for the first time, we will get the quest here, there be monsters investigate the submarine. There is a kid you can find on the shore who will give you this quest, but coming straight to the Yangtze does exactly the same thing. So screw the kid. And once here, of course, we want to enter the Yangtze. Now before we go any further, to get this weapon, I will tell you that you will need at minimum a charisma level of nine. If your charisma isn't at nine, either come back later or find a way to boost your charisma. For example, apparel pieces that give a boost to charisma, or you can use some kind of aid, like say alcohol to give you a boost in charisma. Either way, save before going any further and make sure that your charisma is at least at 9. So now we have a charisma of 9, go in and looking through the periscope will be Captain Zhao. We want to speak to Zhao. At this first option you want to click not a threat. There are others you can click but this is the nicest option. Then next just click just curious. Then next just click I'll help you. Now this is where the charisma comes in. Again, save the game before you do this because it can still fail even with a charisma of 9. So first up, when the yellow comes up, go ask for money. Secondly, when orange comes up, click more money. And finally, when the red comes up, click even more money. And provided that is successful, you will see Captain Zhao is now saying that if you help him, he will give you his officer's sword. I do believe if you have a charisma of 10, it will be successful no matter what. The lowest charisma level I could get it to work at was 9, and it failed 1 out of 4 times at a charisma of 9. So just be warned and make sure to save the game before attempting this. Because if you fail that speech check, you will never be able to get the sword. I want to make it very clear that if you choose to kill Zhao at any point in this... Kami bastard. You destroyed my country. Die! He will not be holding Zhao's sword. It won't drop on him. At no point is it ever in his inventory. When you finish the quest, it spawns as an item and then is given to you as a reward. The only way to get it is to pass the three speech checks and then help him complete the quest. Now this first stage of the quest, we need to go to Solgus Iron Work which on the map can be found here to the northeast of Bunker Hill. Even with that said, it's very northeast of Bunker Hill. There are a unique group of raiders that live here called the Forged, so be prepared for a fight with them as they are tough bastards. Now in the final room of Saugus Ironworks, in the very back right corner, hidden away, we will find the dampening rod sleeve. It will be marked with a quest marker, so it is quite easy to find. Activate it and get yourself one of them dampening coils. Once we have it, head back to the Yangtze and back to Captain Zhao. Tell him you have the dampening coil, and then we'll have to go further into the submarine and get the warhead. Again, super easy, it's marked by a quest. The only thing I would warn you about is there are a load of feral ghouls, which were the crew of the submarine, the Yangtze. But once they're dead, finding the warhead is easy as the ICBM. Activate it, pull out the warhead, and then head back to Zhao. After speaking to him, we will have to go to the reactor. Now be sure sure to install the dampening coil first and then install the warhead. If you do it the other way, the whole ship blows up and everything's screwed. So install the dampening coil, then install the warhead. And once that's done, the reactor is back online and the Yangtze has power. Once that is done, head back to Zhao and tell him you have completed all of his tasks. And then as a reward, we will have Zhao's sword. Again, the three speech checks at the start of the quest is the only way to get the sword. Now, as always, before looking at the weapons base stats, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. Now let's mod it out. Now there's only one mod slot and there's only one modification we want to put in that mod slot, which is the electrified serrated blade. Adds plus 10 bleed damage and plus 15 energy damage and overall increases the damage by 75%. So once that modification has been put on, we can see Zhao Sword has a base ballistic damage of 30 and it now does an electric energy damage of 15. Its speed is medium, its weight is three and its value is 
125 caps. And as we can see up the top, Zhao's sword. Now there's no effects attached to this weapon. Zhao's sword is purely a collectible item. I mean, you can use it if you like, but because there's no legendary effect attached to this weapon, it is literally the worst version possible of a Chinese officer's sword. Again, this weapon isn't a game changer, it's just more of a collectible item, especially given how hard it is to actually get to a point in which you will receive the sword as a reward. Even if you have a charisma of 10, you may not have thought to have continued asking for more and more money. And again, despite being a unique weapon, Zhao's sword lacks any legendary modifier, making it identical to a normal Chinese officer's sword in all regards. Apart from, of course, the name. Because of this, it also does not have a star next to it in the Pip-Boy inventory like other unique weapons. So that is that, in case you were wondering, Zhao to get this sword. And I know we've all been thinking it, and yes, it is just like a lemon. It's super Zhao. If you see any piglets hanging around this blade, it's because they think it's Zhao's sword. Yeah, that one hurt. Ow. I mean, Zhao. And here it is, Zhao's sword in action. <laughs> You have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my walkthrough guide in which I show you how to acquire the more collectible, unique Chinese officer sword known as Zhao's sword. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way. And if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist, where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you enjoy quirky observational comedy, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can also be found in the description. And with all that said, I would like to thank Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.